Shalom, shalom, my beloved brothers and sisters in Africa. I have another burden to share with you, and I do believe it will bring some change in this continent. Not long ago, somebody gave me a message that in 1835, the Commonwealth people sent many spies to Africa to find out a way how to subdue this continent. And they came back with the same report, all of them. Africa is the richest continent we found. We have found the most wonderful people, hardworking people. We didn't see one thief, not one person that was without work. We, f we found not a single beggar. These people have joy. These people have, have an enormous energy. The only way that we suggest that we can subdue this continent is by convincing them what we bring is better than what they have. Now I would like to see you and ask you, did they succeed? My answer is yes, they succeeded. You know how often I find people that think that I, with my pale color, am more worth than they. You know, I had, many years ago, I had about nine African children over Christmas in my home in Austria. And one day they told me, Ma, Mama, we would love to be white. I said, white? Why? Well, because Jesus was white. I said, what? Jesus was not white. He was, an, he was Asiatic. He was definitely brown. Maybe not as dark as many Africans, but he was brown. And he definitely didn't have blue eyes. And he definitely didn't have blonde hair. He was an Asiatic person. And so I went to all kinds of stores, art stores, to find pictures of black Jesuses, of a black Jesus on the cross, of black disciples. And you know what? I showed the children, I said, you are so wrong. Jesus was dark. He was dark. And you know what? It is proven now by archaeologists that the first people God created were black, not white. I always say, you know, first God made the beautiful Africans. And then when he ran out of color, he made us, the white ones. And you think that white is better than dark? Every clothes that you wear looks better on you than on us. So dear ones, please, please, thank God for creating you as an African. I think you all are extremely beautiful. Uh, every clothes that you put on looks much more better than when we put it on. And you know, the white people, they lay in the sun for hours to get brown. Most of them lose their, lose their skin and get pink. That's all they can achieve. But you know what? They convinced the Africans, the colonialists, that what they bring is better than what you have or what you had. And let me tell you, in the Bible it says in Jeremiah 17, 5 to 8. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man that trusts in man and makes flesh his arm and whose heart departs from the Lord. When you started putting your trust in white people or yellow people, uh, people that are not Africans, you turn away from God. And then it says, for this person that trusts in man and, uh, and in, in, in his own strength more than in, and in, than in God, he said, thus says the Lord, cursed be the man that trusts in the man and makes flesh his arm, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like the heat 
in the desert and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land and not inhabited. You know, it is very sad to me that so many Africans believe they are second class. You are first class. You are definitely not any less than any other person that God created on this earth. It says, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreads out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat comes. But her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. It is my heart's desire to make true Africans out of you and to embrace Africa as the most blessed continent in the world, the most beautiful continent, the richest continent. Why are so many nations eager to get control of Africa? because of the riches that are still in this continent. And then they call us poor, dear ones. Are we believing that? No. The Africans are the most, ple most blessed people in the world. And I would like to pray for you that you receive a mindset that makes you proud or makes you content, makes you thankful to be an African. I mean, the Africans are not better than anybody else, but they are definitely not less worth than anybody else. And I, I, I will tell you what God told me. God told me that there will be refugees coming from Europe to Africa. He told that to me five years ago. And you will see that God will do that. Africa has been a continent for refuge, refugees. Jesus wouldn't have survived without Africa. Moses wouldn't have survived. Your dear ones, be content and happy. And I believe every person born in Africa should only look to this continent and to God. And if you want to be very blessed, also cooperate with Israel. And God will give you, yeah, he, will, he will put you on a solid ground and you will no longer envy any other nation in the world. But you will be very content, very happy, very satisfied to be a beautiful African. I love you. Kwagalanyo. And you're beautiful. And you are glorifying God with the way that he made you. Blessings, blessings to you. And please change your mindset and become a thankful, a content African that knows God is with us. And if God is with us, who can be against us? Shalom, shalom. <laughs>